In this video, I'm going to show you how to write a budget planner and take control of your finances. And make sure you stay to the end of this video because I am going to give you free resources, including a free printable and downloadable budget planner that you can use every month. Let's get into it. So why do we do a budget planner in the first place? Well, we need to understand the income that's coming in and the expenses going out. And if we are earning more money than we are spending, then we are saving money and building a strong financial future. So the first thing we're gonna do is put the date down in the top right corner of this budget planner. This helps us keep a record so that we can refer back to this month over month. The second thing we're gonna do is write down our goal. This can be very helpful throughout the month as it will help you stay motivated and on track. This month, I am going to say that our goal is to save $1,000. Now the next part of this budget planner, we are going to simply write down the income coming in this month. Now I get paid bi-weekly, so on the first week of February, I'm going to get paid $2,000 for my job. And then the third week of the month, I'm going to get my second paycheck, which will be another $2,000. And we're gonna write the total here, which is $4,000. Now the next section, we are going to write down all of the bills in what's called fixed expenses in this section. Now, if you don't know already, fixed expenses are expenses that do not change month over month. This is like your rent, utilities, car payment, car insurance, and we're gonna go through an example now. So first, my rent payment is $800 a month, so I'm gonna write that here. I have utilities, which total to $120 a month. I also have a phone bill, which totals $30 a month. I have an internet payment, which is another $30. I have my car insurance payment, which is $100. And then I have my car payment, which is another $200. This list could be longer, could be shorter for you. It just depends on what expenses you have. And then we are going to, again, total up this section, which for me totals to $1,280. In this next section, variable expenses. Our variable expenses are things that we are going to plan for, but may change from month over month. So I'm going to budget $800 for groceries, I'm going to budget $70 for gas. I'm going to budget $400 for eating out. I would like to go to a concert this month, so I'm going to budget $120. And then lastly, I'm going to go to the movies for Valentine's Day, and I am going to budget $45 for this. I'm going to total up this section, and that is going to be $1,435. And the last section we need to fill out is the current debt that we have. So I have a credit card payment of $200, which I'm going to write here. And I'm going to total up this section, which is a total of $200. Now that we have our income identified and our spending identified, we are going to summarize this whole section. So we're just going to transfer the totals, which were $4,000 for our income, our bills and our fixed expenses totaled $1,280. Our variable expenses totaled $1,435 and our debt totaled $200. So our total balance in our summary is going to be our income minus all of these expenses. Now our expenses totaled $2,915, which means our total income of $4,000 minus $2,915 means we saved $1,085 this month. Now you remember, our goal is to save $1,000, so we are right on track with this budget. Now, we need to execute on this budget for the month of February. Refer back to this if you have any questions throughout the month, because at the end of the month, it is a great exercise to go back and identify if we stayed on track and met our goal. And that is what this note section is for. So at the end of the month, when you refer back to your actual spending history, you may wanna write in sections where you overspent or identify areas where you could save more money. So for my example, I wrote, I would like to eat out less next month because this is an area that I could easily control and easily save additional money next month. Now, the key to doing a budget planner well is simply by doing it every month. You're going to make mistakes, 
I've made plenty, but month over month, year over year, if you are constantly taking your finances and putting them on the forefront of your decision making, you will save money, you will build a financial future for yourself, and I'm so excited for you to join that journey. So if you too wanna use this budget planner every month, go to mymoneymovement.com. There is a downloadable budget planner exactly like the one that I'm using today, which you can print off and take control of your finances, take back your life and start budgeting every month so that you too know that you are on track and you are building the financial future that you deserve. If you are enjoying this video, please consider smashing that subscribe button and join the growing family of money movers who are taking control of their finances. 